gonna give it to you. What? Wait for you to get it on your own. Welcome to Watch Mojo's Cartoon Countdown. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most outrageous things to happen on Rick and Morty. Number 10. X gon' give it to you. This is an example of when outrageous was also awesome. When Summer gets screwed over by her former employer, the devil, Rick shows her that sometimes you need to get your own justice. Namely, street justice. And it's not just the devil. As several groups fall to the duo's beatdowns, some that aren't usually seen on TV due to their controversial nature. It's even crazier when we see the two taking steroids together. Number 9. Ants in My Eyes Johnson Everyone wanted to sign up to some interdimensional cable once they saw this episode, even if it included a brutal leprechaun death. Ants in My Eyes Johnson is not only incredibly funny, but also makes you cringe at the idea of insects being in your eye sockets. Things become even more outlandish when we find out he can't feel anything and catches a flame. Number 8. Morty's Guidance Counselor Morty's used to being traumatized, but this is a memory even we wish could be removed. After some stargazing, Morty thinks he sees a man on the moon, which really freaks him out. What the heck? It gets even worse when a similar looking gentleman is introduced as the new guidance counselor Mr. Lunas at his school. His family tries to deter him, but he confronts his principal with what little evidence he has. This inadvertently leads to Mr. Lunas being accused of being inappropriate to kids. This proves too much for the man to handle, who ends his life shortly after. Number 7. Pickle Rick Just when we thought we were used to the madness by Season 3, the blue-haired scientist broke the internet when he turned himself into a pickle. I turned myself into a pickle, Morty! Boom! Big reveal! I'm a pickle! It was definitely one of the more absurd things we've seen. The scheme was hard for even the family to wrap their head around, but it quickly devolves into an escalating battle for survival. Number 6. Sexy Summer While there are always fans that will fantasize about their favorite characters, the context of this scene makes it a little distressing. Rick and Morty go on an Inception-inspired escapade where they try to get Mr. Goldenfold to give Morty straight A's. It's here they are privy to all of Morty's teacher's fantasies, and some of them aren't exactly safe for work. After diving deep into his subconscious through Mrs. Pancakes, they discover that Goldenfold harbors a shameful attraction to Morty's sister. It's just summer! Oh, jeez! Because this is an imaginary version of Summer, she starts flirting with the two freaking the characters and the audience out. Oh my, oh my god, god, put some clothes on for the love of god, for piggy! Number 5. Face Hugger Love During Promortius, Rick and Morty end up controlled by some parasites called Glorzo. After surviving thanks to her toothpick, Summer helps them build a civilization, allowing the aliens controlling the duo to develop personalities and relationships. However, it's not as wholesome as it sounds. The two parasites confess their love for each other and decide to start a family, kissing each other passionately. I feel the same way. You have to remind yourself it's the parasites professing their love, not Rick and Morty. Number 4. Ultimate Soul Bonding As you've seen on this list, Rick and Morty aren't afraid to get super weird. They've even shown the characters attending end-of-the-world parties that might have too many liquids flowing. However, Claw and Hoarder is by far the weirdest instance of the characters getting some action. To free the dragons from enslavement, Rick, Morty, and Summer all have to perform an ultimate soul bond with several dragons. But you see, soul bonding is just a dragon's way of getting down and dirty. It certainly took us by surprise to see our trio of characters be part of the soul bond. Number 3. Homeless Santa Visits the Rocky Mountains Santa Claus is coming to town, but not in the way you wanted. To evacuate Morty from a dead homeless man's body, Rick has to enlarge it. This means a giant naked homeless Santa in the sky. As we see various news outlets report on the different areas of the homeless man across the continental US, one alludes to what is happening in the Rocky Mountains. This is where his groin would be. 
We then see a large protruding shadow approach as a lumberjack screams for his life. <laughs> That's right, Santa's package destroyed the Rocky Mountains. Number 2. Morty's Shameful Children When Morty visits his mother's work, he discovers a machine that gathers the reproductive material of horses. The look he gives it spells nothing but disgusting trouble. Unfortunately, Rick gets his hand on a barrel of the stuff and, because Morty is too ashamed to admit it, accidentally creates giant whitetail wagon monsters. We thought it was as sickening as it could get, but then, one of Summer's eggs is used to try and lure the creatures into space. Just when we thought there was no way Morty and Summer's genetic material would mix, quick spoiler alert, they do. We were just as shocked as the characters were on the show. Hey, Stinky, it's all you, bud! <laughs> Number 1. King Jellybean We're surprised that this scene even got aired, and we'll never forget it happened. Morty convinces his grandfather to go on a stereotypical hero's exploit to help out a poor town. The result is them killing a giant, getting taken to court, and then Morty and the audience getting traumatized in a tavern bathroom. It starts as an innocent exchange between King Jellybean and the young wannabe adventurer. But I'm starting to get nervous that maybe it's gone a little too far off the rails. <laughs> Isn't that what adventures do? Jellybean forces himself onto Morty, who has to defend himself from Jellybean. This moment isn't played for laughs at all and comes out of nowhere. It's a scene that would establish to viewers that you will never be ready for what this series will throw at you.